Hello guys, welcome to Code Enzyme. And in this video, we are going to discuss an interesting problem. It is today's problem of the day on lead code. Uh, it is uh, Domino and Domino, and uh, it uses the concept of dynamic programming. So let's not waste any time and let's see the approach. So basically, we are given a, a Domino block which is a two cross one tile, and uh, next we are given a Domino uh, block. And I will represent this as a, as a dash and an L shape. Okay. And we are given a two cross and a rectangle, and we need to find how many uh, ways we can cover it. Okay. So let's see the approach. I am going to try and solve this using induction. So first, we will calculate all the number of ways for n equal to one. So let's see if we have a two cross one block. The only uh, possible way to fill this is this. So we have, if I denote it using, uh, okay, if I denote it using BP. So I am going to say BP of one is equal to one. So if I have a DP array, I am going to say DP of one is one. Okay. Now let's also see for n equal to two. Okay. Now if I uh, if I have a two cross two block, so here it is two and here is also two. If I say that uh, these uh, first two block I have one uh, straight uh, domino block, then uh, it is compulsory for me to have one in here. So this will be my first case. And uh, one another 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 possible and another possible way to do this is this. So total number ways for f is, uh, uh, for n equal to two is uh, two. So I'm going to say dp of two is equal to two, right? And I can write here two. Okay now. Uh, one more thing is that uh, this is a new pattern. And this uh, has some contribution of DP of one, right? Because uh, this part is same in both DP of one and DP of two, right? So this is something that I got uh, that is new. Uh, this case two and this is case one is actually uh, a used one. Okay, we will see how I'm going to use this in further uh, parts. So let's try for n equal to three. So let me make a uh, box. Now there are various ways. If I fix uh, this here, I'm going to have uh, uh, two ways to fill this two cross two block, right? So it is going to be like this and. Uh, now if i uh, fix uh, now if i fix this this like uh, the new pattern of the two cross two block then the only possible way is uh, this and interestingly now we have two new patterns for three cross three using the l shapes one is this and one is this one so in total for n equal to 3 we have five patterns and these are the new pattern and this one this one and this one have contributions of the previous uh, uh, dp of 1 and dp of 2 so i can say dp of 3 is equal to 5 let's put it in the array Okay. <clears throat> now let's also see. Uh, now let's try for n equal to four. Now let's not draw each and everything. Uh, I'm going to try and show you. Like for example, if we have n equal to four, right? 
so i can say if i uh, fix this uh, one uh, first year it has a contribution right so this uh, this will be common for uh, like uh, it will this this will have dp of three number of patterns right now if i fix uh, if i fix this as this uh, because this was the new pattern for uh, wait i'm going to write it like that now since this is the new pattern for dp of uh, 2 uh, i have three i have only two spaces here so this will have dp of two number of uh, uh, combinations and now okay so now if i try to fix the dp of three new patterns i am going to have uh, sorry for that I am going to have uh, from these I am going to have 2 times dp of 1 right and for the new patterns these are these are the contributed patterns right these have these have contributions now let's try to make some new patterns for uh, of uh, dp of 4 so So how can we make new patterns? We are going to use L and uh, the two cross two both. So we have one pattern like this, and uh, and one will be the mirror image of this. So this. So in total, uh, we have two new patterns, <coughs> right? So I can write DP of four as dp of 3 plus dp of 2 plus uh, 2 times dp of 1 plus now we have uh, this i will i'm going to put it here like 1 and if i say this as uh, 2 times dp of 0 and i put dp of 0 equal to 1 so let me update the array if i say dp of 0 is 1 then this should work out so i'm going to say here dp of 0 i'm only assuming that uh, this uh, dp of 0 to be 1 because my answer is coming that way okay now let's uh, continue for uh, n equal to 5 and if i try it is going to be uh, dp of 4 plus dp of 3 plus 2 times dp of 2 plus dp of 1 now let's try forming some uh, what will be the new patterns which uh, will not have any contribution from any of these uh, previous values let's try to see what these those patterns will be and how many kind of patterns we can make so one possible pattern is going to be something like uh, and one possibility is something like uh, this there are uh, no possible no other possible uh, patterns so i'm also going to have uh, so these are only two more possible uh, patterns in dp of 5 so let's put here dp of 0 and even for uh, n equal to 6 we are going to have something li uh, like that only so let me draw the patterns for you So one such pattern will be something like and another pattern will be something like yeah, so, so as we can see even for n equal to 6 
we will have only two two kinds of new pattern and for so on for every other value of n greater than equal to 4 we will have only two new patterns okay so now let's try to generalize this expression so i can say dp of n is equal to dp of n minus 1 plus dp of n minus 2 plus 2 times and dp of n minus 3 plus dot 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 plus dp of 1 plus dp of 0 okay now if i put uh, n as n minus 1 then this equation becomes dp of n minus 1 is equal to this now i am assuming dp of minus 1 will be equal to 0 so if i subtract these two equations i will get i will get this final equation that dp of n is equal to 2 times dp of n minus 1 plus dp of n minus 3 so i hope you i was able to explain the concept properly and now let's see the code for this i have written a python code first we initialize the array and since the largest value of n was 1001 uh, and now we will give the initial values in these and now i can simply and now i can simply apply the dp and we must take mod because it was given in the question and at last i can return dp of n okay so i hope you guys learned something new from, from this video and if you like the, my content and if you like my content kindly like share and subscribe to this channel I will see you guys next time. Thank you.